Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. I hope you have a really awesome day. Today's subject of the video is uh, kind of infinite amount of chances to fix things and I want to talk to you about that. You you have an infinite amount of chances to fix your own, your own work and that's obvious but I want to show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, kind of through this video, so uh, bear with me. Uh, before you do, though, if you guys like learning to draw favorite characters, you guys learn drawing, uh, learning art tips that help you out immediately, uh, please click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to press that bell icon to give you a notification for when they come in. So, anyways, let's kind of get into this. So, if I'm if I'm working on paper like this, and this is a regular, this is computer paper. This is very. This is gonna work here. Uh, it's not going to work so much on uh, like vellum or uh, Bristol board. It's not going to work on that. But for regular computer paper, which I think a lot of people use, this will work. For digital, this kind of works as well. So when I'm and you've seen me do this before, I'll I'll do a very va basic kind of outline for something. And I've talked to you guys this before. I'll do this, let's say the stick figure. And I'm just gonna just like just zoom by this for the purpose of this video. And what I normally do is I grab this and I slide it underneath another piece of paper. And again, this is for regular printing paper. Uh, and a lot of, honestly, there's a lot of paper you can do this. And I can see this vague outline underneath. I do that, and, uh, for digital is different. For digital you use layers on Photoshop, that's what I do a lot. And then when you have this, you already have the framework done so you can build things on top of that right um, now I'm building my you know armature whatever you call it <clears throat> I'm building up my uh, you know more solid shapes Is coming out the bottom of the screen? Might be. Okay, so I'm doing this. Just finish this off. All right, and then I continue by doing the exact same thing. I grab another sheet of paper, put it over this, right? I'm doing it in layers uh, because you're trying to separate. How many things you want to think about? You only want to think about a couple of things at a time. Uh, otherwise, it becomes this overwhelming, crazy mess. And uh, you know that's how kind of one person does uh, something that looks like it took like three or four people to do. Uh, but the point is, uh, let's just say, and I don't know how how well you can see through this paper on camera, but for me, I can see it, you know, well enough. So let's just say I want to do like a shoulder pad. Right? Let's say I want to do that shoulder pad. And I'm just going to zoom in on this area right now. So if I want to do this shoulder pad, and let's just say I totally blow it, I'm just like, ugh, the line art here on the sh and I'm just going to zoom in on the shoulder right now, just pretend it's everywhere. Um, and I'm just like, man, that design is not good. What you can always do is, you can do one of two things. You can pull back a layer, go back to this. You know what I mean? Go back to that, grab a fresh sheet of paper, and just straight up start over from that level. You know what I mean? Just start over from that level and just go, okay, you know what? I'm going to draw a different type of shoulder pad. Maybe it's going to bow out a lot. You know what I mean? Some pirate stuff? I don't know. So, I can do this forever. You know, I can just p keep pulling back on that layer, that one layer, and just kind of keep doing that. Or I could grab this if I want to alter that slightly, put a layer over, um, put another piece of paper over this like latest layer, and maybe kind of uh, go into very fine details of the shoulder pad or. Uh, you know, maybe move it a little bit, alter it a little bit. But the point is, there, there's an infinite amount of tries at this. And, and uh, when I talk to people, it feels like people are on this crazy deadline or crazy 
I don't know how to say it. There's this crazy pressure people put themselves under where they're like, ah, I gotta, I gotta hit it right the first time and blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't have to do that. You have an infinite amount of tries, you know, you, you do it as much as you want and you can always do it from here. This is kind of how you do it from, uh, kind of layers at this point, you know, uh, I, I would really recommend this. If you do it on paper, you cannot see through. Uh, you're going to have to just start this armature over and over and over and over again, or erase, 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 and that's where you get kind of weird. Uh, what do you call that? You know, when you erase too much. Well, I don't have an eraser on this. But you know when you erase too much, it becomes kind of, the the paper becomes kind of nasty? I don't know how to say it. Either, either you can't erase it fully, or little bits of paper come out of it. So, just be aware of that. Uh, you know, that you have an infinite amount of tries, and that'll hopefully put you under less pressure. If you use, like I said, this type of paper or digital, um, especially digital, but you're know, using like just a, like what I remember what I said basic computer paper, nothing special about it. I mean, it's 11, this one's 11 by 17, it's tabloid size, but there's really nothing special about this paper. A lot of people use it, so um, you have an infinite amount of tries. So that's it. That was the ramble. That was the hammering that point home. Uh, hopefully, if that kind of helped you in any way whatsoever, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notifications. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Shoot me a message in the comments. Say hi. You know, I'll talk to you soon.